Once upon a time, there was a small town far from the city. In this town lived a witch whom everyone made fun of. This witch, named Fury, was so clumsy. One day, the witch Fury was preparing a potion to do her usual evil deeds. Bobby, get out of here! You will pour out this potion of unhappiness that I will deal out to the people. Witch Fury's spoiled dog was not standing still. He was running around. Ruff, ruff. Bobby! Enough is enough! Meanwhile, Witch Fury accidentally put too much sugar in the potion cauldron, but didn't realize it. She took the potion she filled in a small bottle and started casting spells. Let the laughter turn into tears, joys into troubles, and dreams into nightmares! <laughs> Just then, spoiled Bobby got tangled in the witch's feet. The witch stumbled and tripped on her broom next to the table. And some of the potion in the bottle spilled onto the dog. Bobby didn't understand what happened first. Looked left and right, then turned into a giant candy. Seeing this, Fury looked at the potion bottle and her dog which had turned into a candy. The candy was bouncing around, and the witch was chasing after it anxiously. Bobby! Do not go! I will fix this! Wait! Ah! I said stop! Wait! The candy bounced around, first popped out of the window, then fell into the pool below, and of course, melted in an instant. The witch fury looked sadly behind the melting candy. This incident spread from ear to ear among the townspeople. Those who were fed up with the witch's evils thought she deserved it. The witch living in the haunted mansion has finally been punished for her wickedness. Yeah, she won't be able to cast spells on us anymore. I think we should celebrate that. But she's just a clumsy witch, and she lost her dog just because of that. From that day on, the townspeople celebrated the same day every year as Halloween. While the young girl named Millie was feeding street animals on the same day every year. <laughs> You're so playful, <laughs> little dog! Jump! Come on, jump! <laughs> a few years have passed. The Witch Fury began to devise a plan to punish those who made fun of her. That year, on Halloween, she disguised herself and wore a huge pumpkin headdress. In this way, she managed not to be recognized by anyone. I will punish all of you for making fun of me! She took the potion bottle she had prepared and went out of her mansion for the first time in years and started knocking on the doors one by one. No one recognized the witch fury. Trick or treat? Treat! When the witch heard the word candy, she sprayed the man with her potion and turned him into a giant candy. <laughs> now make fun of me! Then the witch went to the house next door. This time, a kid opened the door. Trick or treat? Treat! Here you go! Treat! Witch Fury turned the kid into a candy right there. Meanwhile, Millie, who was out to feed the street animals, was very surprised to see huge candies bouncing around. Woof, woof, woof! What? What's going on here? Where are those candies coming from? Millie ran in the direction the candies were bouncing. And she saw that someone in a pumpkin costume was laughing at the candy that passed in front of her. Hey, 
Hey! Who are you? What are you doing to these people? Stop now! When the witch saw the young girl who was coming running to her, she started to run away quickly. They chased each other along the street. Finally, Millie caught this oddly disguised witch and took off her hood. She was very surprised to see that it was Witch Fury. Ah! Witch Fury! It's you! Why are you doing evil things to people again after years? You should stop now! The townspeople deserve it, Millie! While I'm sad to lose my dog, they're celebrating this day! Millie realized that the Witch Fury was very sorry for her dog and that she has actually been alone for years. I understand you, but the solution is not to hurt people. Kindness always wins. I have a great idea. Wait a minute. Millie embraced the little puppy, who was trying to play with the bouncing candies in the square, and brought him to the witch. Here, look! How innocent is he? This beautiful creature may now want to live with you! Witch Fury was overjoyed when she saw the dog. Because he looked just like her old dog, Bobby. But this... He looks a lot like my dog! Oh, I can't believe it! Oh, he's so sweet! If you promise to stop doing evil to the townspeople, this puppy can live with you for a lifetime and be very happy. Woof, woof, woof! The witch's heart became softer as she loved the dog. The evil in her suddenly disappeared. I promise, this dog will now be my best friend. Thank you, young girl. The witch, with her newly adopted dog, turned all the candies that were bouncing on the street back to their old human form. She named her beloved dog Candy. Since then, Fury has gone out on the streets to do the street animals a favor every Halloween, just like Millie. And her dog Candy has never left her alone.